Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today's unboxing is a Stitch Fix unboxing and of course a try on. So as you can see, I've already kind of had a little bit of a peek, but I'm gonna show you everything in here and I'm gonna try it all on for you. So let's just assume you're brand new to Stitch Fix. If you are, Stitch Fix is kind of like a personal stylist in a box, I call it, but no, they're not really in the box. They're obviously online. So how this works, it definitely operates in the UK and the US and I think possibly some other countries as well. In the UK, you pay a £10 styling fee each time you get a box, but if you are brand new to Stitch Fix, then you can get a £15 credit when you sign up, which means your first box is free, plus you get another £5 credit. And the £10 that you pay as a styling fee, even when that is like free because you've got a credit, you get that deducted if you do decide to keep any items. So if you keep anything, the money you pay is deductible. So how it all works, when you set up your profile, you tell them what kind of items you like to wear. So if you're someone who never wears skirts or never wears trousers or whatever it might be, then you just tell them that. You tell them how much you would be comfortable paying for different sorts of items. So they get to know your kind of budget and things as well. And you can upload pictures, you can rate clothing on their website to say what you do and don't like, and basically give your stylist as much of an idea as you can about the sorts of items you want. Then when you're ready to order a box, you can either have it on a one-off box, like just order a box when you're ready, which is pretty much what I do, or you can have it on a subscription basis if you're gonna want them regularly. There's no real benefit to having a subscription, you may as well just order the box when you actually want one. So you tell the stylist what you're shopping for, so I'll share with you now what I told my stylist. I basically said that I'm after some kind of wintry clothes. I was after like a Fair Isle type jumper, maybe a nice dress that was like comfortable, but I could also wear it to work and some like comfortable sorts of things as well. And like a pair of jeans and a jumper, you know, that kind of stuff. So some kind of casual, some slightly smarter smart casual at the most really with this box but you'll see when i go through obviously exactly what she has sent to me so like i said if you're new to stitch fix you can get a 15 pound credit if you're in the uk in the us i believe you get a 25 dollar credit and you can still use my link to redeem that and every time you do that i also get a 15 pound credit which obviously helps me to make these videos so i've got five items like i said i'm going to show them all to you in just a second under the video you'll find a link to my latest pinterest board so what i do is i create a pinterest board for my stylist of exactly the sorts of looks i'm looking for so instead of just saying i'm after some jeans i'm after a jumper i actually share pictures of ones that i like so they get to know then which kind of brands you like and also what kind of styles colors that kind of thing as well so i find that really quite helpful and they do actually sometimes send the items that i've pinned as well so they must look at it because it does seem to translate quite well they also have a feature now, which I think it's called the Stitch Fix Preview. I've talked about this before. I think it's such a clever idea. So what they do is generally it's at least 10 days before your Stitch Fix dates. Because when you book a fix, you say, I want it by such and such a date. So about 10 days before, sometimes earlier than that, sometimes it's been two weeks. It depends how long you've given them to shop for you, really. They'll send a preview. So the preview is 10 items that your stylist has selected for you. So you can look at them, you can look at obviously pictures of them, you can see what size they've chosen for you, you can see what fabrics the items are made out of, because I have an issue, like I don't want things that are totally polyester or anything like that. You can also see the price of the item and a couple of different ways you might wear it in the pictures. So I will share with you now the 10 items that were selected for me. So of those items, I actually selected three of them and then the stylist selected the other two. So what you do is you can choose as many as five or as little as zero. So if you don't like any of them, that's fine. And I have done that before. And it gives you the opportunity again to leave another note for your stylist to say, right, I've looked through these items. These are no good because, or I really like this, but I could do with a different size or a different color or whatever it might be. Give them a bit more feedback and then the stylist puts everything together for you. Pack it all up in a box send it out to you. And how this works, if you don't want any of the items, you can send the whole lot back and you've not lost anything if you've used a free credit to sign up. If you've paid £10, then obviously you don't get the £10 back. And that's the same for all of your boxes. If you do decide to keep all five of the items, you get a 20% discount off everything. So it's actually cheaper than going in the shops. And they also price match. If you find any of the items in your box, 
on sale with any other retailer for the same colour and item, they will price match within as long as you contact them within seven days of your box arriving. I've done it many, many times and it's been really successful. And because I'm filming this at the end of December and there's a lot of sales, all of the items in my box are actually currently on sale. So I'll be able to tell you how much the listed has been and how much I should get them for price match if I do decide to keep them. Let's get into this one's box. So in the box, you get a little envelope like this. It has a returns label, I should have mentioned that. All the delivery costs, return costs are free. If you do decide to exchange anything, so you need a different size or there's a fault with it, anything like that, all of that is included. They tend to ship the new item to you and then you just ship the old item back. I usually get like exchanges within like two days or something crazy, it's really, really quick. They send a series of style cards. So how this works, it shows you the item they've sent you and two different ways to style it. There's also a little note from your stylist explaining why they've chosen the items they have. And then an all important invoice, which tells you how much each individual item costs, how much it will cost you if you keep everything, if you've got any credit, how much is gonna come off. So everything is super clear on there. And then when you've decided on your items, they generally give you seven days to try everything on, decide what you want to keep. If you want longer, you can extend it for free. You just need to go on the website and click through and do that in your account. If you are ready to check out, you know what you're keeping and sending back, you go through an online checkout process where you tell them what you're keeping, tell them what you're not, what you're sending back. And at that point, they'll charge you for what you're keeping. They won't charge you for what you're sending back. They'll just let you send it back. And as long as obviously they get back and stuff, that's the end of that. So the clothes usually come in nice little bundles like this, but I'm really impatient. So I've taken all my clothes out of the bundles, but they're all here for me to show you now. So my stylist this month is Hannah. It says, hi Crystal, happy fix day. I hope you're keeping well and enjoying your week so far. It's great to have you back for your 19th fix. So I've been unboxing these for a long time. I also unbox Luciero, which is a competitor to Stitch Fix in the UK. And I've made a whole playlist of all of my unboxing try on videos for Stitch Fix and Luciero. So I've put a card here if you want to check back over a number of months it gives you an idea of the different things I've been sent and my thoughts each kind of month I've unboxed it. Thanks again for checking out the preview and leaving me with really helpful feedback. I checked out your Pinterest board and although I was unable to source the exact same pieces from Hush I did pick out two items that were similar to what you had pinned. Then it starts to tell me about the items. So it says, first up, it's a star cardigan from Sugar Hill Brighton. I know you love this brand too. Let me know if the black is okay. I tried to look for it in navy, but sadly we don't have it right now. I really like Sugar Hill Brighton. It was a brand I'd never heard of before I tried Stitch Fix and I've had quite a few items like jumpers and stuff from them. Really, really like it. So if you've watched these videos of mine before, you've probably seen some of the Sugar Hill Brighton items before. I have actually bought them independently as well. I've gone to the website and actually bought some items since trying them in Stitch Fix. So great to try new brands. So at the front, it looks like a standard black cardigan. Don't worry, you will see this in much more detail when I actually try the items on. I appreciate the light's going a bit funny when I put that there as well. But the interesting bit about this is it has actually got some stars on the arm. I love stars, so big, big plus for me. And then that same star detail on the other side, just plain black at the back. There's no other pockets or anything like that. Like I said, you'll see it a lot better when I try it on but I like to just quickly show it on camera before I try stuff on. How this video will work, I should have explain this before. Really not on it today, am I? So essentially I'm gonna show you everything in the box, then I'm gonna try it all on for you, then I'm gonna give you my thoughts on what I think I might be keeping and not keeping and my sort of thoughts up to that point. But I really appreciate your feedback. What do you think looks right? I'm not always good at knowing what's right for me as a lot of us are, I'm sure. So I really do appreciate your feedback on it. Anyway, back to this. So this is made from 47% viscose, 28% polyester, 25% nylon, and it's a machine wash, 30 degree delicate wash. Wash inside out, dry flat and reshape when wet. I only mention all that because to me, I like to know the washing instructions. I did once get something that was like, you couldn't wash it, you couldn't even dry clean it. And it was like, well, how is that gonna work? So yeah, I like to mention those things. Plus my mum said, when you do those videos, you should really tell them, Crystal, what things are made out of. People like to know things like that. So I can thank my mum for that. So this is the Black Fall Star Sleeve Car Dakota Cardigan. And I will put links to all the items underneath. So if you see an item you really like, I'll link you straight to it and everything 
pretty much everything in here is on sale as well so it's a good time to shop so this is in a size 8 it retails at 62 pounds but it is currently on sale at 44 pounds so like i said they should price match this if i do decide to keep it but i'll try it on for you in just a minute and we'll see what it actually looks like on here is the cardigan style two different ways they've put it with like jeans they've put it with a skirt and obviously different types of shoes as well then it says i have also included the printed jersey dress from bowden Again, I have spotted something similar on your board. This would be perfect to wear in the lead up to the festive season when meeting friends and family. Looking forward to your feedback, best Hannah. There are a bunch of other items, but she doesn't kind of mention them in this note. So that's because the two items that I'm talking about are the two that she's just included. All the others were obviously from the fix preview. So this Bowden printed dress, I actually got a Bowden printed dress, same sort of fabric in a previous Stitch Fix video. I unboxed it and tried it on and everything and I absolutely love it. I've worn it so many times, had lots of compliments on it. So I'm really excited to see something else from Bowden. This has actually got a kind of shirt sort of collar on it. It's a button down the front to the kind of waist and then it sort of flares out a little bit, but in that kind of soft drapey way that this sort of fabrics do. So this is another bargain in the sale. It retails at £75, but is currently on sale for £37.50, so 50% off. This is 50% cotton, 50% modal, so nice and soft. And it says, delicate machine wash, do not bleach, line dry, cool line on reverse, do not dry clean. So similar sort of care instructions to the other item as well. So like this, it's long sleeved as well, which I do prefer this time of year. I just find these sorts of, Items really easy to like throw on with a pair of tights and like some little boots or something and just fly out the door to work. Super handy and it's got this little button detail there on the sleeve as well. Here is the dress styled two ways. Then I asked for a new pair of jeans. I wanted some like straight leg boyfriend fit type jeans. I wear a lot of sort of skinny jeans really and I wanted something a little bit different, a little bit more I don't know comfy laid back things like that so these are actually hush jeans i love hush i've been wanting them to stock the brand hush for ages they do some gorgeous gorgeous items and um, so these are some of their jeans i've never tried their jeans before they're a pretty standard look they just look like any old pair of generic jeans generic blue jeans you know this is what they look like. I think they are very slightly cropped at the bottom, but then I'm quite short. I'm only 5'3", so they might not be cropped on me. Not a huge fan of crop jeans usually anyway, but we shall see. These are called the Lenny Straight Leg Jeans Mid Authentic Blue, which is the colour. Size 8, they retail at £75, but I saw them in John Lewis for £60. I'm hoping the price match, but we will see. These again are turn inside out, wash at 30 degrees, do not tumble dry, so similar kind of care instructions. Maybe they're all going for that these days. They are 99% cotton, 1% elastane. Love me, lend me, I'm made to be worn. Okay then. But yeah, I'm looking for a decent pair good quality jeans and they are the sort of style I was looking at so we will see what they're like on. Here's a jean style two different ways. So I mentioned a fair aisle jumper. I wanted a fair aisle jumper that was like nice and kind of wintery but not festive Christmassy because I'm aware it's the end of December and I'm thinking Christmas I'm not gonna be wanting to wear like a Christmas jumper in January February am I? So this is this definitely seems to fit the bill. This I think is gorgeous, love, love, love the design of this. So it's by a brand called Thought. I had something from Thought in a previous Stitch Fix box and they do seem to do really nice, good quality clothing. So this is kind of hard to show you, but should be more obvious obviously when I'm on, but this is what the detail of this looks like. And then it just kind of goes dotted and on the sleeves, it's got this little bit of detail here and the print goes like that all the way across. Same obviously on the other arm and on the other side. And these are the kind of colours that I like to wear, kind of dark navies, things like that. So I like this a lot, actually. It's got an interesting cut to the body as well. It looks like it's sort of cut interestingly, like a smile kind of shape instead of straight across. So that should be interesting. We'll see how it kind of sits and stuff. It feels like it's nice and warm. It's quite a thick knit, but it's not an itchy feeling knit, which is a big issue for me. I cannot cope with itchy jumpers. I just won't wear them. So this should hopefully be okay for me. So it's 59% cotton, 20% nylon, recycled nylon, 19% recycled polyester, 2% elastane, exclusive of trimmings, certified organic cotton, cold hand wash separately, do not bleach, dry flat, do not tumble dry, do not dry clean, blah, blah, blah. Now this is the, the most expensive item in the box. It's called the Thought Lexi Fair Isle Jumper, black size eight. 
I thought it was navy, but it's black. Okay. This one actually retails at £89.95. But I've seen it on sale for £67.46, which is a little bit more palatable. So still really expensive, but I am trying to buy items that I will wear and love for many years, not, you know, kind of throwaway items. So, you know, if it's a good quality jumper and I'm going to wear it multiple times every single year, then it will probably be worth it for me. We will see. And then last but not least is this little sweater from jewels so it's just a lovely kind of comfy laid back weekend sweater i would say it is just plain pink all the way around it's got a little bit of like rib detail there and at the bottom that like elasticated sort of stuff they do but it's a really kind of relaxed sort of like i said just like a laid back weekend jumper i would describe it as it just says jewels there on the back and it's got this sort of bit of ribbon detail on it so this is called the monique sweat it's a pink size eight it retails at £34.95. It's in the shade Rose Hip, this particular pink one, like I said, I'll link it underneath. And I've seen this currently on sale at £22.95. So that's a bit of a bargain if it fits and it's nice and stuff. I've had some really nice items from Jewels actually. They tend to be quite good quality as well. So this is another wash on 30 degrees and all that kind of stuff. It's 100% cotton, which I do like cotton. That would be my kind of go-to material to wear would be cotton. So yeah, I just find the most kind of comfortable and breathable and stuff. So now I'm gonna try everything on for you. Then I'll come back and let you know my thoughts and we'll see where we are. Jeans, they're kind of fairly high-waisted. Well, not fairly high-waisted, a little bit high-waisted. They kind of come to like just below my belly button. Um, but you can see the quite, sort of wide at the top a little bit not you know not super fitted i don't know if they're kind of back weird actually on the legs or is that normal for these types of jeans i really don't know they do also seem to have almost like a very slight kind of crop this is what they look like at the back and this is what they look like with shoes and this is where i get a bit concerned that they're actually a little bit too kind of cropped i don't know what do we think not sure about the length of them, what do we think? And this is the cardigan. Not sure what top I would wear it with exactly, I've just kind of thrown it on with what I have currently got on. Like I said, it can be buttoned up as well. Could wear it with like a little vest top or something, if it was a little bit warmer maybe. This is the cardigan. That's it kind of buttoned up. Obviously I can unbutton it and see what it's like that way. This is the jumper. So it has got this kind of interesting cut on the waist where it sort of hangs out a little bit at the side. It sort of, I don't know if it kind of sticks out a little bit, if you can see what I mean. I mean, I guess it's quite a big fit, isn't it? Like a more generous cut, but can you see it sort of hangs out a little at the side? I don't know. I do really like the design and like the print and things. Let me know what you think. So this is the Jules jumper. Bit creased and it's obviously sitting quite close on the buttons and things. What do you think about the fit and the look of this one? This is the dress. I like that it's got pockets actually. What do we think? It kind of hits just at the knee. Oh, 
Okay, we're back. So I've just tried everything on. What do we think? I've got to say, this is actually one of those boxes where I had such high hopes, sort of really liked everything in there, tried it on and was a little disappointed. Whereas I've had it happen the other way where I've looked at the box and been like, oh, I don't like any of this stuff. Tried it on and be like, wow, I really do like this stuff. So just goes to show either way, you should always try it on regardless of what your first impressions are and just sort of see what you think when it's on. So yeah, I'm gonna talk you through the items and you let me know what you think, if anything, I should keep. So the Hush jeans, not a style I usually wear. Like I said, I tend to go for like skinny jeans, things like that. And maybe that's for good reason. I'm not sure these are that flattering on me. I wasn't sure about the length. I felt like they were about an inch or half an inch too small. Like especially with shoes on, I felt like it just looked like they were a bit short for me. And I think that's because the crop. So yeah, I, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I mean, like I said, these are the Hush jeans that usually retail at 75 pounds currently. 60 pounds but did they look right i just really really wasn't sure so that's kind of going on the maybe pile the black cardigan i really liked it and i don't understand why i'm finding it so difficult to find things to wear it with because it's black and most things go with black the only detail is on the sleeve so i don't really know why i'm finding it so difficult to find something to wear it with and that is the biggest problem with this item so this is the sugar hill brighton cardigan so it retails at 62 pounds but it's currently on sale for 44 pounds and this is probably my favorite item of the bunch i just don't know what to wear it with so if you think i should keep it please tell me what you think i should wear it with because it really really was a difficult one and i really struggled to find what to put it with which is not a good sign is it so another kind of maybe really liked the thought fair isle jumper really like the detail it's like i said not itchy it feels like it's a good quality nice kind of thick warm knit really really liked it i just wasn't sure about how it hung it felt a little bit like a little big at the sort of sides of my waist and at the bottom it sort of hung off a little bit but again i don't know if that's sort of the style and maybe it's just like a more comfortable thing to wear rather than a super fitted jumper and maybe it's just not what I'm used to. But what did it look like on? Was it flattering? That's the other kind of important bit. So like I said, this is 89.95 normally, but it's on sale for 67 pounds something. So it's still expensive. But if you think it looked good, then it's something I do like and I think I would wear. I just, I just don't know if it was flattering. And that's gonna be a theme I'm gonna be saying about all the items in here. I wasn't really sure that any of it was quite suited me. The Jules jumper, I quite like this pink. It's the sort of style that I don't have to think too much about. This is my general go-to style at the moment. Not very stylish, I know, but jeans, a t-shirt, throw on like a bit of a jumper. Unless I'm having to go into the office or something, this is generally what I'm living in at the moment. So definitely the sort of thing I would wear and it's definitely like weekend type wear, isn't it? But again, was it flattering? Was the fit right? What do we think? I need your help. So this is the one, like I said, retailed I think about 34.95, but it's on sale for like 22 pounds something. So it's quite a good deal again, 100% cotton. Just not sure if it's suited. And then last but not least, I liked this dress from Bowden. Like I said, I've got another one in a different print and a slightly different style that I adore and wear all the time. But I wasn't sure about this one. Um, I liked it, but actually my other half said he didn't think it was particularly flattering on me. And he said, you've got other ones that are similar that actually suit you more than that. And he's, he might be right. What do you think? Did this work for me? Did it not? Should I keep it? Should I send it back? I'm really not sure. Again, another really good deal as well. This originally was £75, now £37.50, so really good price. And it feels so soft and comfy as well, and it's got pockets. Love a good pocket. But yeah, so I'm really on the fence with everything. Let's talk about the prices then. So the subtotal of everything at full price would have been £336.90 which would then have got me a 20% discount of 67.38, bringing the total to 269 pounds 52 for all the items, plus obviously my style charge would come off making it 259.52. But a lot of the items, well, all the items are actually on sale at the moment. So at the sale price, I have added it up to be that all five items would be 231 pounds 66 with a 20% discount, because you do still tend to get the 20% discount off the items even when they're reduced and um, that would give a discount of £46.33 making the total of all five items £185.33 then obviously with my deduction it would be £175.33. What do we think? I mean if all five items had have fit me really well and I'd have felt like these are 
you know, items going to wear all the time, love them, then it would have been a, yeah, absolutely no brainer, but I'm just not sure that they suit me. So I really don't know what to do. So I would really, really appreciate any comments, you know, be honest, does it suit? Does it fit right? Is the color right on me? Or should I just send them back? Just let me know what you think. I'd love to know. And that's one of the reasons I love making these videos. I know you guys like watching them and seeing the different things people are sent in like Stitch Fix boxes and stuff. And it gives you a clue as to whether this is something you would want to try. Although, of course, it's been tailored to me. Um, and it might be different what you receive. <sighs> yeah, I just, I need, I need this kind of feedback. I need to know what you think. And then I'll hopefully know what to do. Because at the minute, I'm like, I don't know what to do. So yeah, let me know what you think. So like I said, if you're new to Stitch Fix and you'd like a £15 credit or $25 credit or whatever the currency is where you are, then I will put my link underneath and it will get you that discount, making your first box free and giving you £15 off anything you decided to keep. So for example, if you got this dress in your box and it was 37 50 because they price match it and then you get your £15 off, then the dress would only cost you 22 50 so definitely check that out if you're interested in getting a box i would love it if you give this video a thumbs up it lets me know you're enjoying the content i'm producing and i'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live thank you so much for watching bye guys